Hi, Scorpio. It's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for April 2018. So, Scorpio, before we jump in here, there is now a summer session, two of them, for the Astrology 101 Basics course. There's an AM and a PM session. Both are happening in June, and if you want to join, all of the details are in the description box down below. I hope to see you there. So, Scorpio, this month, what an interesting restructuring kind of month I think it is for you and you definitely have the opportunity starting this month for the next five months to really do some house cleaning and gaining some clarity but let's talk this through so first and foremost we're coming into the month with mercury still retrograde our communication planet is still retrograde in the sign of aries which is very much so aries is like i do one thing at a time like i want to do this i'm going towards this energy so with your mercury being retrograde here, what you could be doing is rethinking something very specific. Now, Mercury is retrograde in the sixth house for you, so you could be re-looking at the job, you could be really refilling out paperwork, you could be, if you're getting ready to retire, you may be doing paperwork right now. Your daily routine, your health, your mental wellness for sure is certainly something you could be re-looking over because with the retrograde, that's what we do. We redo, reconnect, relax, re-edit, revisit, whatever it is. I would highly suggest to you that until Mercury is out of retrograde that you do your best not to make any really huge decisions, sign contracts, do anything like that to the very best of your ability. But this has certainly got your mind going on some work-related, health-related, co-work-related kind of things. Now, as we're here at the beginning of the month on the second, we see Mars, our planet of action, and a co-ruler to you in conjunction with Saturn, and they're both here in Capricorn. So together right now, they're actually, this is the like do something energy, right? Let's achieve, let's get something done, let's get to the goal kind of energy. This is in your third house. So Scorpios, if you've got something that you are trying to communicate, you're working on communication, even if you're working on communication, that communication between the mind and the body, mind, body, soul connection, how those are all communicating with each other, that may be something that you can use this Mercury retrograde to help you with as well. But if you're rewriting, re-editing, or doing anything like that, or trying to move some sort of communication in the direction of a goal or a purpose, this energy really helps you with it because it's very driven, it wants to achieve. Now, between the fourth and the fifth, you'll experience the energy of the Mercury retrograde in a square, a hard energy, to this Mars-Saturn conjunction. Now, where is this phenomenal? A square in astrology says, I want attention now. Take action now, fix me now. So this is going to spark you into action, which is great because it'll light your determination to move something forward, right? Move the health forward, move the book forward, move the job forward, move the routine forward. Whatever it is, you'll be sparked into motion. But what does it feel like? It can be angry, it can feel depressed, but what it's trying to say to you here is somewhere in this communication space, is we need you to grow up. We need you to come to the next level, take a more mature action, let's move. We can't sit here and cry, we gotta move, right? Which this is a beautiful energy for having such a positive influence on showing you where the discipline of Saturn is trying to actually help you succeed. So really beautiful energy. On the 14th, Jupiter is over here in your sign in Scorpio in a sextile to Pluto, your other co-ruling planet, and that is in Capricorn. So between these two energies with a sextile, a sextile says there's a talent or an opportunity available, and you usually will intelligently make use of it and take advantage of it. So you may be having an opportunity to communicate something, to um, write something, to put something out there, to revise that website, but whatever it is, with the Jupiter and Pluto energy, you're not having to force it. There's no push. The success is coming pretty naturally. You just have to show up and be willing. That's just about it, so really well supported. Now, on the 15th of the month, we see Mercury coming out of retrograde and coming direct 
over here in Aries in that sixth house. Sharing space with a new moon energy in Aries as well. So the career sector, co-workers, jobs, service, maybe even something with pets if you have small animals, health, this is lit up for a brand new springtime refresh, re do i was gonna say re-beginning but i don't know that's not the right phrase but kind of like a fresh start let's just say fresh start for you in this sixth house area so if you've been looking for a job you've been wanting to take a new job you've been kind of slacking back a little bit on getting that resume done this is also a great energy to acknowledge your um, daily routine. What does your daily routine look like? Do you have enough room to breathe? Is it productive? Do you have a lot going on? Are you being messy? Scorpios, I'll tell you, take a look at your car. Do you have anything in your car that you need to clean out, right? Traditionally, every Scorpio I know has a great car, but sometimes when we get under stress or pressure, we have more stuff building up there. So look at where you may have a little bit of clutter in your routine, because this is a great way to make a lot of space for it. New beginnings. Now, on the 17th, Saturn is going to go retrograde, and on the 22nd, Pluto is going to go retrograde. Granted, these are relatively subtle energies when they go retrograde. They're still very effective, and it's very rewarding, and there's a lot of great clarity that comes with these. Because it's coming in your third house, you may be putting new structure around communication, or you may be looking back at communication, because see, what has happened, what has happened was, is that Saturn and Pluto have both been showing you where change needs to happen. Saturn's been showing you since December where there's cracks in your communication cement. And now he's shown you he's going to come off of you, take a little bit of a break. But the expectation here is that you will do something about it. You will take this more mature action and fill in where these cracks are. He's shown you here's what doesn't work. In the next five months from April to September, you've got time to work, get clarity, and allow something else to be created created here like clean out Pluto wants you to get rid of old relationships old beliefs old conversations so that you can start new now on the 19th we've got the Sun coming over into Taurus joining Venus this is your seventh house Sun Venus in the seventh house this lights up relationships this is definitely some vitality here some romance even if it's a business partnership you still want a little magnetism on the table I think this is a wonderful wonderful energy if you're single this is a great energy at this time as well and goodness knows Mercury retrograde could have blown somebody from the past even if it's just a memory back into your space so you could be a little bit flirty right now so super interesting time try and enjoy it okay when we get to the 24th venus makes this move out of venus out of taurus into gemini so this is going to be entering into your eighth house now your eighth house with venus here is first of all you could have finances coming your way your partner could be making some money you could be a little something back from the tax man that would be delicious right <laughs> you could be getting that loan comes through something like that but also venus in the eighth house in gemini allows us to communicate more intimately i love this energy so there's just another level of depth that's available to you and it's almost this place where we need to communicate the truth one of the Truths you may want to be communicating is studying astrology, tarot, metaphysics, anything that maybe feels a little taboo to your world, you could be prepared to get ready to be sharing with people. Really pretty. On the 29th, we've got the full moon happening at six degrees of Scorpio in your sign in a really positive aspect to the Sun and Saturn trine that's also happening. So, you know, the full moon says we need to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. And you may be ready to make this shift. You're cleaning out. You're getting some different work kind of done. You're working smarter, not harder. Um, you're taking a deeper look at your communication and your thinking and your mental patterns and behaviors. And this is something that brings us to a place where we see how we have to show up differently or we can or we're able to present ourselves differently for sure. So I think by the time we get to the end of this month, Scorpio, you really will have had some time to evaluate some mental shifts or some thinking and definitely some patterns that may be showing up that may be good, maybe are not so great. If it's not so great, feel free to use that big old Pluto Saturn sweeper and get those things out of here, okay? All right, Scorpios, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you so much and I'll see you next month.